Hello all the students. So in today's video we are going to study complemented lattice. What is a complemented lattice? A complemented lattice is a bounded lattice where every element has at least one complement or in other words a bounded lattice which has every element with a complement is known as a complemented lattice. Now mind here that we are saying every element that means every element of the lattice must have at least one complement. What is a complement? A is called the complement of B if the first condition is A or B is equal to 1 or in other words the least upper bound of a comma b must be equal to the greatest element and we know that one here represents the greatest element the second condition is a and b is equal to zero or in other words the greatest lower bound of a comma b must be equal to the least element and we know that zero here represents the least element. Now if we consider the following has diagram. So we have to find out whether this has diagram is complemented or not. So this particular has diagram is a lattice and our task is to find out if this lattice is complemented or not. Now first of all this lattice is a bounded lattice. Why? Because it has a greatest element which is equal to i and it also has a least element which is equal to a. Now since this lattice has both a greatest element and a least element, so it is a bounded lattice. Now let's see whether the given lattice is a complemented lattice or not. Let's find the complement of a particular element. Now our task is to find out whether each and every element has a complement or not. So we will start with any arbitrary element and let's say that in this case this arbitrary element is D. So we will start with the complement of D. Now clearly here I can see that E is not the complement of D. I will first consider E for D and I can clearly see that E is not the complement of D. Why? Because the least upper bound of E comma D is equal to G. I can see that the least upper bound of E comma D is equal to G and it is not equal to I. So next the greatest lower bound of E comma D. I can if I trace down I can see that the greatest lower bound of E comma D is equal to B which is not equal to A. Hence it is quite obvious that E is not the complement of D. Now let's consider another arbitrary element for D. F I take and I find that F is the complement of D. Why? Because the least upper bound of F comma D. I can see that the least upper bound of F comma D. That means if I trace upwards the first meeting point of F and D is I here. And the greatest lower bound of f comma d if i trace downwards the first meeting point of f and d is a so the greatest lower bound of e comma d is equal to a hence it is quite obvious that f is the complement of d and obviously if f is the complement of d so d would also be the complement of f now let us choose another arbitrary element. Let's say this time we choose to find the complement of E. So D clearly is not the complement of E because we have already found that E is not the complement of D. And when E is not the complement of D, it is quite obvious that D would also not be the complement of E because obviously the low, least upper bound of E comma D is equal to G which is not equal to I. And the greatest lower bound of E comma D is equal to B which is not equal to A. Hence it is quite obvious that D is not the complement of E. Now let's consider F here. So if I see F here, F is also not the complement of E. Why? Because the least upper bound of F comma E is equal to H. 
which is not equal to i. If I see e and f, we and if I trace upwards, I can clearly see the first meeting point of e and f is h. Hence, its least upper bound is h. And the greatest lower bound of f comma e is equal to c, which is not equal to a. Again, if I trace downwards, I can see the first meeting point of f and e is c here. So the greatest lower bound of f and e is equal to c. So it is quite obvious that f is also not the complement of e. So it is easy to verify that the complement of e does not exist. That means the complement of e does not exist at all. So e is one such element which does not have a lattice. So and our condition for a complemented lattice was that every element of the lattice must have at least one complement. Now here we can clearly find out that e is one such element which does not have a complement. So we can clearly say that the complement of e does not exist and since the complement of e does not exist the given lattice is not a complemented lattice. Now let's consider another example. If I consider this has diagram, again it is a lattice and now I will find out if the above lattice is a complemented lattice or not. Now here if I consider these two arbitrary elements B and D, I can clearly see that B is the complement of D and D is the complement of B. Why? Because the first, if I trace upwards, the first meeting point of D and B is C. That means the least upper bound of D and B is C. And C here is the greatest element as I can see. Similarly, obviously if I uh, if I exchange the ordered pairs instead of b comma d if I write d comma b that means the least upper bound again for d comma b would also be c because if I trace upwards the first meeting point of d and b is also c and c again is the greatest element. Then again for b and d if I trace downwards I see the first meeting point of b and d is a which is the least element of this lattice. So I can clearly say that the greatest lower bound of b comma d or the greatest lower bound of d comma e is equal to a. Hence I can clearly say that d and b are complement of each other. Now similarly c is the complement of a and a is the complement of c. Why? This is because the greatest and least elements are always complement of each other. We must always remember this. Now since in this lattice each and every element has a complement, I can clearly see that D has a complement which is B and B has a complement which is D. Similarly the complement of C is A and the complement of A is C. That means every element of this lattice has a complement hence I can say that the given lattice is a complemented lattice. So this is all for today's lecture. I hope you understood. Thank you for watching.